Hi, I'm Paul Barkas, along with senior editor Eric Edholm, here with more of all the news, scoops, and rumors before they happen in our exclusive Pro Football Weekly, Way We Hear It. You know, there's been a lot of talk about a mystery team possibly getting involved in trade talks with the St. Louis Rams for Robert Griffin III. Everybody seems to assume the Cleveland Browns, the Miami Dolphins, and the Washington Redskins are in the conversation. But, Eric, you're hearing there's another club that might surprise people a little bit. Yeah, I mean, at the, at the Combine, the Eagles were one of the teams that stood out as being ones that talked with Robert Griffin III. I think you can obviously see the similarity style-wise between Griffin, his athleticism, his deep field, deep field passing, and my, what Michael Vick brings to the field, too. The Eagles clearly need to figure out their long-term situation in this position, despite giving Gr uh, Vick a, an extension. They have to realize that after certain point he's going to be injury prone he's 31 next year his contract they can actually get out without being too damaged so I think they're making a serious play here and they've got some ammunition to do it with. Yeah you ask yourself how would they do it now there are many of us uh, myself included who think the Michael Vick contract was a mistake they don't have much of a future at the position just gave up on Vince Young we assume by signing Trent Edwards so how do they do this well they've got their own first round pick they got Deshaun Jackson, who could be franchised and then traded. They got Asante Samuels available. You throw in a number one next year, maybe a two. I think they've got two twos this year. They've actually got plenty to work with for Jeff Fisher. And when Andy Reid sees a guy that he wants to go after, he's made bold moves in the draft before. We've seen him go up. We've seen him go down. We've seen him draft quarterbacks when they seemingly don't need one. This would be a great example of one. Plus, you've got the Redskins involved. I think they want to go for it. RG3, one year behind Mike Vick, wouldn't be bad. Now, in San Diego, big troubles on the offensive line. My favorite. NFL nickname Dirt. Chris Dealman has announced his retirement. It looks like Marcus McNeil, their left tackle, will be a cap casualty. As much for physical problems as anything else, that's two all-pro offensive linemen they're letting go. Yeah, Nick Hardwick's a free agent, too. He's sort of the anchor of that group. I mean, they've got to find somebody, probably both in draft and free agency, and it's not going to be a big money free agent. They don't appear to be able to spend at that position. Look at the draft, specifically free agency. San Diego, big needs on the offensive line. For Pro Football Weekly, with more Way We Hear It, check us out 24 hours a day, seven days a week at ProFootballWeekly.com. It's never too early to start thinking about the NFL Draft, and Pro Football Weekly's new draft database has you covered. Check out updated player rankings for over 750 prospects and our exclusive PFW Stockwatch. Just go to the draft tab at profootballweekly.com.